Decorating Fanatic here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. And I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe to my channel. Well, I'm standing in here in the kitchen and this is a good place to be today because I was woken up this morning at around five o'clock with thunder and lightning. It's been raining all day. The house is super dark without any lights on. So we're gonna be decorating the kitchen for fall and I have some new items that I ordered online that I cannot wait to share with you because they're super cute. And then since I've been eating healthy, I wanna share with you how to make a healthy pumpkin spice latte. They are amazing and it's all with real healthy ingredients. So let me share with you what I have to decorate with. Well, what I love about fall is you don't have to use all the bright colors. You don't have to use all those orange pumpkins that scream fall. You can add in touches of amber vases, some pictures, and then you can add in some real subtle, you know, neutral colored flowers in your vases and different things like that. And you can still incorporate some everyday items into your decor for fall. That's what I absolutely love because one of the items that I have right now, I absolutely love this lamp. This I got over at Kirkland's. Now, I think this was around $40. It came with a different lampshade when I bought it. Um, it was really big and it was like oval shaped. So I got a different lampshade for this. But I tell you what, I absolutely love having this lamp in my kitchen, turning this on at night. So I'm gonna use this for my fall decor. I absolutely love this. And then I'll be adding in a few pumpkins. And then the pumpkins that I'm gonna use are these. I absolutely love these little subtle green pumpkins. They're so soft, the color on these. And this was from Marshall's for $3.99. And then I have this bigger one here. I absolutely love the colors on these because my kitchen cabinets are like a green color. They're a sage green. Now I don't know where I picked this up, but I do remember having this last year. And then if you saw my Ray Dunn haul, I purchased this little gnome that says thankful. Again, it's got this really pretty sage green color that I'm gonna incorporate into the kitchen. Well, I also have this little mini stack book here from Etsy. This is so cute. It says hay rides, apple cider, and pumpkins. And then I have my fall Ray Dunn mug. It says fall y'all, and it's orange inside for $5.99. And then I have a fake mug topper that I'm going to use on that mug. Um, I purchased this last year, but then last year I did have a video that I made, I'll leave in the description below, that I made some Christmas ones that came out really cute for Christmas. So if you're interested in on how to make these fake mug toppers, I'll leave that down below. And then I have a little mini stand here that you can get over at Hobby Lobby for a couple of dollars. And now right now at Hobby Lobby, they have, um, I think they have the orange and they have a light sage green color. And then I purchased this little pumpkin from Hobby Lobby last year. Now this does light up, but this one uh, particular one does not. So when I pulled it out from being stored away, it doesn't light up, but um, they still have these and it comes in another color. It comes in like a green color. And online again from Etsy, I ordered these little tea towels here for $12.50. I purchased this one. I think it's really cute. I just love the print on here. And these were priced at $12.50. And I like it because of the green. It goes with my cabinets. And then I have, let's see, I have, where are they? I purchased a set of two to go on my stove. And again, love the print on these towels. These are so cute. And I love the colors that are in these towels. Well, I have this tray here that I'll be using. Now, I don't remember where I got this, but I probably got it at Hobby Lobby. Now, I love the tray that's gonna be used on my countertop because again, this anchors all your fall decor when making your vignettes. And then you can get a bunch of fall leaves. They come in a package. I did see them at Hobby Lobby when I was there the other day. So I have some, a few fall leaves that I'll probably be using on the tray. I also have this little mini ladder that's gonna go in the kitchen. I absolutely love this. Now, I really lucked out. This was the first time that I've seen these at Hobby Lobby. I think they're always sold out whenever I go there. So I happen to be in the fall section and I saw those sitting there and I'm like, yes, I'm getting one. This was $12.99 and then it was 40% off. So that made it a really great price. And then over at Home Goods, I picked up this plate. I have a little plate holder that I'm gonna use it on. This is really cute. I love the little truck and the pumpkins. Now this was priced, I think this is priced around $4.99. And then I have this little green stand. Again, it goes with my cabinets. I'm gonna use the plate on this. And I've had this for several years, so I don't remember where I got this. 
Well, I have a set of these plates here that I absolutely love. I got these from Home Goods for $3.99. I love the little pumpkins in orange with the green leaves. And then I have this cake stand that I purchased online from Walmart. Absolutely love this little cake stand for around $20. And what I like about this is adding my fake muffins in there. These look so realistic. You get these online from Amazon for, um, I'm not sure of the price, but you get a set of six of these, but I can fit about three of them on this little cake stand, which looks so cute and so realistic. Well, I got just a couple more items to share with you and we were gonna get decorating. I have this picture here, came from Home Goods. I absolutely love this for $9.99. And then the florals came from Hobby Lobby. I think these are really pretty. I think these are like little sunflowers. I'm using one of those and then two of these little wispy flowers here. They're priced $9.99. And then that day there was 40% off. So that made them around $6 each. And then also at Hobby Lobby, this little candle ring holder, it's mini, but I thought how cute would this look on the little ladder like that with a little tea towel. And then a couple more things. I have this candle from Bath and Body Works, which I absolutely love. It's the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. It's my favorite of all time. I get this every year. I absolutely love Bath and Body Works candles. They're very strong. And then I have some flowers that were left over from last year. These here from Hobby Lobby, and I'll be using these. I love the color on these. And then I have a little soap dispenser here, a little um, hand soap that I'll be using by the kitchen. It's got the little gnome on there. I think it's really cute. And then this was in my Ray Dunn haul. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it or if it's even gonna look right in the kitchen, but again, I love the little Ray Dunn candle here. And then I think I got a couple more things that I have that I'm gonna use over in the corner over here, but let's go ahead and get started decorating.
Well, I have a few items here we're going to be using for our pumpkin spice latte. Now, I'm choosing to use the almond milk. This is a much better choice and healthier for you. Now, with whole milk, you do have saturated fat, you have cholesterol, and you do have a lot of calories in whole milk. So we're by replacing it with the almond milk, you're getting a lot of health benefits with this. Also, it only has 30 calories and it has no cholesterol and no saturated fat. And we're also going to be using pure pumpkin and pumpkin is really good for you also. And then I have my maple syrup and then we're going to be putting in some vanilla. And then we have pumpkin pie spice we'll also be adding. And then the cinnamon will be used later after we top it off with some whipped cream and we'll use a little bit of cinnamon on there. And then of course I have a cinnamon stick to make it look pretty. And then my measuring cup and measuring spoon. Well, you're going to want to get out a small pan for your ingredients. And then I set the stove to 4.5. I think this is a good temperature here. Um, you don't want to put it on high. You don't want it to boil or anything like that. Maybe a medium temperature. Now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add in our almond milk. And you're going to need a cup of almond milk. So one cup of almond milk. So I'm going to go ahead and add in two teaspoons of maple syrup. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to open up the pumpkin, the pure pumpkin, and we're going to put in two tablespoons of pure pumpkin. And then we're going to use a half a teaspoon for our vanilla. And then we're going to use a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And now after all the ingredients are in the pan, then you want to take a spoon and you want to stir that really well and make sure all that is mixed up. Now once you have this all mixed up and it starts to simmer, you can turn it off. Because then what we're going to be doing is making our cup of coffee and you can use about eight ounces of coffee or if you have an espresso machine, you can do two shots of espresso and then we'll be adding this to it. So now that I have this all stirred around and mixed really well, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and then we'll go ahead and make our cup of coffee. Well, now that I have my eight ounces of coffee made, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my almond milk along with my pumpkin spice mixture. Well, we're going to go ahead and top it off with Ready Whip. This is a non-dairy. Again, it's almond milk. It's non-dairy, so it's super healthy for you. And we're going to use this instead of using whipped cream. So we're going to add this to the top of it. We're going to make it look as cute as we can. And then we're going to add in some cinnamon on top to make it look pretty. and a cinnamon stick, and there you have it. Your pumpkin spice latte. Well, let me go ahead and give it a taste test. That is amazing, it is super good. You're gonna really enjoy making this, and this is gonna be a really uh, healthy alternative to having Starbucks. 
And then as you can see, it says pumpkin latte on one of my Radon hunts. I picked this up, it came with a little topper. How cute is that? I thought this would be perfect for my video today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some decorating ideas and inspiration. And until next time, happy decorating.